Hi, can I talk to you about the way that you're going to preserve the pictures that you're going to have taken? Lots of people will say to me, I just want the files. Can I, can I just have the files? Well, why? What are you going to do with the files? Are you going to keep them in a drawer? Are you going to do anything with them? Let's just reverse engineer this for a while. When you're looking at keeping things for a long period of time, there's no wet, better way than an album. This is my wife's parents' album. 1954, <laughs> they got married. And this old fashioned album with this kind of um, paper in, in the front, and there they are with a, a, a print. Uh, but it's there to show the grandchildren and, and the whole of the family. Our wedding album, um, back in, well, quite a while ago, uh, very much the same with the, the kind of like the tissue paper. And there she is, my lovely bride. And there we are, uh, kneeling down. I'll briefly, briefly show you that one. Um, but things have moved on a lot since then. This is, or has been, one of my uh, wedding albums. And I've had this at least, at least, uh, what should we say, six, seven, eight years. And it's still there. It still looks beautiful. It folds flat. And the way we design these, we select the picture, or rather you select the pictures. And you say, right, okay, let's just build the album. And then we go over the album together. So we, you know, we have the picture, your main picture there. And do you want this picture bigger than that picture? Can we have that one up there? Uh, can we have that one over there? Um, got the bridesmaids. Actually, no. Can we have the guys up instead of the bridesmaids? And we build the album together. But this album, been around all of the wedding fairs with me, and it still looks very, very neat, considering it's been fingered by so many people. Um, as we move up the ladder, this beautiful um, Italian-designed album, We've got etching on here um, with the, uh, the couple's name and the date that they were married. And as you open it, look at the venue there. Um, you're looking at the, the, the rings with the, the, the drop shadow configuration on there. And this is my latest um, designers that we use. This is a British company and this beautiful leather bound cover. And it is absolutely finely built. Exactly the same kind of way where you would work together to say, you know, we'd like this big picture there. We like that. Um, oh, bridegroom. Oh, that's lovely. Yes, we'll have that, please. Thanks very much. Or no, it's not our cup of tea. And then when we're happy, we go, we send the album to, to print and off it goes. But that beautiful album will last forever you will show it to your grandchildren you will sh and they will show it to their children no doubt equally uh, large framed this beautiful uh, box frame this is at least eight years old and it looks as good today as it was when it was made another one is our photo Piro range uh, this black and white style we absolutely beautiful um, and it, it's well put together and again built to last to last for a very very long time again my suppliers up in Scotland um, this is my heritage range and beautiful it comes in uh, different colors for the frame and different sizes as well obviously just think about how many VHS tapes you've got Who's got a VHS player these days? Not too many people. Then we went on to discs and we put photos on discs. Um, not many people have got disc players anymore or disc drives are going away from computers. Then of course, we've got USB sticks. So we've put them on USB sticks these days. But in five years, 10 years, 20 years, will you be able to access the files off your USB stick? The answer is no, there will, the technology will have moved forward. So, to preserve your favorite pictures that you want to keep forever, an album or a large picture frame 
is the way to go. This is an investment in your memories. For more information, come and talk to me, Jonathan, at Jonathan Davis Photographic. Thank you.